Well, hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to day eight of our devotions. And I'm going to be reading from Luke chapter 19, uh, verses 1 through uh, 10. And I'm going to just stop and give some thoughts as I read our passage for today's devotional. Verse 1 of chapter 19, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. It's interesting that Jericho is mentioned here um, as in terms of its comparative value to the Jericho mentioned in the Old Testament. If you remember in the Old Testament, uh, God had the people of Israel march around Jericho, blowing their trumpets and shouting, and the walls of Jericho came down, and then they attacked Jericho and kind of demolished the city. And in, in I think Jericho is here on purpose because Jesus doesn't march around it and cast it down. He passes through it. And what happens in Jericho with Jesus in this story is super important to how we today approach our world and uh, and connect with our community. And in verse two, it says that there in Jericho, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and he was rich and not not well loved by uh, the people of Israel. He was he was Jewish, but he worked for the Roman Empire, collecting taxes from the people that um, that uh, his own people, and they hated him for it. And he often took more than Rome required for himself, and and so he was not well loved. He's often put in the same category as sinners and prostitutes in in the scriptures. And so, verse three, he was trying to see who Jesus was but he was not able because of the crowd since he was a short man. And I, I think that's a little jab uh, from Luke uh, because there, some stereotypes are hard to break, you know what I'm saying? And so running ahead, uh, Zacchaeus climbed up a sycamore tree to see Jesus since he was about to pass that way. And I mean, he's just, there's just this hunger inside of him. Um, see, in, in, even in cities that don't follow God, in nations that don't follow God, there are people within those nations who are hungry uh, to experience Jesus, who are hungry to experience the, uh, the realness of what Christianity is supposed to represent. And, and so he, he climbs up this tree, he wants to see Jesus. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he said to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down because today it is necessary for me to stay at your house. He didn't, he didn't say it's necessary for me to bring condemnation on your life. It's necessary for me to correct you and your bad behavior. He, he didn't say it's necessary for me to tune you up. Uh, it's necessary for me to march around your house and, and, and bring some, some, some judgment down upon you. No, it was, I, I need to have dinner with you. I need to, I need, I want to have relationship with you. I want to connect with you uh, at a deeper level. That's what Jesus is saying when he invites himself to stay at Zacchaeus's house. And so Zacchaeus, you can imagine, I mean, he's like, he's so excited. So he quickly comes down and he welcomed Jesus joyfully. See, that's the response, often the response of people who experience the genuine love and grace of God who especially who don't feel like they deserve it, um, and they experience that kind of love, they, they, he was like joyful, and so he welcomed him. And then check this out, verse seven, all who saw it began to complain. So who's all who saw it? Well, there's a few people in the crowd. There's the religious leaders. They definitely were not happy, but there's also the followers of Jesus. And it took a while for, for them, for Jesus to break um, the stereotypes and the um, and the sense of segregation and the sense of us versus them we're the chosen ones and you're not and that whole thing it took a while for that to break down and so they were not happy either right all who were with him began to complain and then you've got people that are just kind of curious about Jesus they're following Jesus from a distance and they're not happy either I mean Nobody's happy. I've often thought as I've preached over the, the way of Jesus over these past several years that, that I'm going to piss everybody off. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm going to make everybody mad at some point. And if I'm not, then I may not be actually following the way of Jesus uh, as closely as I want to. But anyway, so they're not happy. And uh, they said he's gone to stay with a sinful man. And but Zacchaeus, he stood there and he said to the Lord, look, I'll give half of my possessions to the poor Lord. And if I have extorted anyone, anything from anyone, I'll pay back four times as much. 
He had this encounter with Jesus, and because Jesus didn't judge him or condemn him, and loved him and embraced him and had dinner with him and and built relationship with him. Zacchaeus was like, I want to change. I want my life. See, you see what comes first is relationship, not behavioral change. Sometimes that's how we approach people is like they need to change how they live. But that Jesus was like, I want to be with you. And today Jesus said, salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of Abraham for the son of man has come to seek and to save the lost. That is the purpose of Christ. The new things that God wants to do in our lives and through our lives includes new relationships with people that maybe have been on the opposite side of the aisle or on the opposite side of morality from you or on the opposite side of tradition or beliefs or the way they practice their religion. God wants to do a new thing in, in, in establishing new relationships, welcoming all to Christ's table. So three things. I wanna ask of you as you reflect on this passage today, I want you to ask God to open your eyes to new spaces that give opportunity for new relationships in your life. I want you to pray that you would be undeterred as Jesus was when he was ridiculed for being with those uh, others didn't understand. I want you to pray to be undeterred. I'm gonna, I don't care what people say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep reaching those people that need the love of God. And then three, I want you to spend time today meditating on how um, each of us can demonstrate Christ-like hospitality in these days. Love you, have a wonderful day, and keep pressing into Jesus.